Hello, my 80 subscribers. Thank you for tuning in and watching the video. Uh, I have to apologize for not doing a video in so long. Um, just life gets ahead of you. It's been kind of hectic with uh, with the wife and everything, uh, the whole pregnancy going on and all that stuff. Due date is in five days. No. Okay, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days. Um. Yeah, so it might not be another video for a while. I wasn't even gonna do this one, but I have said I was, so I can't be a liar. Um, IPv D2 versus the Segeli 75 watt. Okay, vape it 11. Gonna real quick on the packaging. Let's see everything in there. Turn it to the side. And on the back. Technical specifications. Variable wattage operating range. 5 watts to 75 watts. Lowest atomizer resistance. 0 0.005 to 2.5 ohms. Battery capacity 3.2 to 4.2 volts. When you pop it open. This USB cord is inside of the... Is inside of the Segeli 75 watt. I wasn't gonna show you my mop and all that stuff. Uh, whatever. I'm trying to hide behind it. Okay, so in here there's a warranty card. I don't charge. Well, I do charge with the battery in there. Just as modus different like um, information about the warranty in Ching Chang speak as well and then there's also the user manual tell you what it's uh, really easy to use I like using it I like the interface a lot better on oh well, we'll get that we'll get to that so there's just a bunch of my, I can't zoom in on that. You won't be able to see it. But it is what it is. So funny how the IPv2 is so much smaller than the Segeli, but the packages are it's so much. The IPv2 is. IPv2, IPv2, the package is so much bigger. IPv2, caution, this is not a toy. Please use these products responsibly. The mod is intended for use only by persons over the age of 18 and should not be used by those unfamiliar with rebuilding atomizers. They're legal mumbo jumbo. Black silver, I have the black. Once you go black, you need a wheelchair. Warranty card for the IPV by VA Pro. To be honest, I was going to protest the uh, Pioneer for you. I was never going to get any of their products anymore because of what they were trying to do with the IPV4 uh, and the IPV4S. Um, but I really like it, so I won against, I'm weak. And I was going to, I wanted the, the Segeli so bad because I have the Segeli 150 and I love the original X150, not the temp control. And I absolutely love it. I loved it. I will, I still love it. But I wanted like the mini miniature version of it, and I got it. And I gotta say, I I really like the look of it. Uh, it's a wrap from J Wrap. I thought it was gonna be white, like a marble white with this, but it was clear. Whatever, it was wasn't too much. But I actually like the look of it. it looks classy. What I've noticed. Oh, I'm not finished. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, in the box it comes with the USB cord up there. 
and then a certificate a certificate that it passed quality, quality control <clears throat> anything underneath no nothing underneath so here they are these the specs are pretty much the same 75 watts I start claiming that. The D2 goes from 7 to 75 watts, and the SIG 75 goes from 5 to 75 watts. Oh, wow. The D2 goes from 0 0.2 ohms to 3 ohms in standard resistance and 0 0.05 to 0 0.3 in uh, in regular, no, in uh, temp control. Uh, basically the same thing. This is more classy. To me, this is, these are more, like, it looks classier to me. I love, oh man, I absolutely love the screen too. That's just so big. Just big. It's like big, bright. This one's bright as well, but this is just bigger, easier to read. I love the buttons more. I don't know why. I love the, I like these buttons more than this one. I think because they stick out more. They kind of, oh, probably somewhere where it's dark. On my beard. They kind of stick out more. Oh, you're not going to really be able to see it, but these kind of don't. But the feel this wasn't I had this one before I got the Sigeli before I got this one totally happy with it the aping on it it's like my my eco tank it's um the sub tank so take mini base with the RBA with the bell cap. And then this drip tip is from a Aero Tank? A Pro Tank. No, Aero, Pro Tank. King or Pro Tank 2. One of the first things I've always had this drip tip and I always like it. It's like more for like the mouth to lung. It's not like wide bore or anything. I just, the way it feels. I like the way it feels. Okay, well, going back. This is more, it looks cool. Like, I, I'm i digging this. Like, <coughs> I, I'm digging this. The black, the weird shape, how it's like molded against your hand. <sighs> Time out. What? I don't know, I'm doing a video. I know, so. The way it feels, like the way it's shaped, it's more like a, it's nice, it's cool. Like you just, right here I have the Smock TV, TFV4, love this. So the RBA section, I'm only hitting it at 40 watts, 41 watts, love it. Crazy. So this is more of like it looks cool. This is more classy. This is more I don't know. This is more um I don't know. Cool. I, I'm old. I don't know what. Like I can take this out. Like if I'm gonna go out with the homies, whatever, just chilling and stuff, I'll take this one. If I'm gonna go out to dinner somewhere, you know, nice, I take this one just because it's a little more classy, more sophisticated. <laughs> Thank you. 
the user, the way to get into things, I find this one a lot more easy. You just, right now it's in power mode. Power mode, watts, can you stop that? Thank you, sir. Power mode, watts, and then if you want to get into, like to switch things up, you hold these two. Boop. And then you go to temp mode. Boom, temp mode. And it's really easy. So right now you're, you can't really see. You can go, you're adjusting the watts up, down. Now if you want to adjust the, the temperature, you just hold, click these once. Boom. Easy, easy peasy. Up, down, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Hadouken. So, want to switch back? Boom, you can adjust it there. Really easy. That's all there is. There's no other... Well, for me, there's nothing else. Why is it showing... Now, to get to like to use the this one, it's not that complicated either. It's just more steps. Right there, you just go one, two, three, four, five, five clips, clips, clicks, and it says system off, power mode, and exit. So, and then system off at round robins or whatever. So, if you want to get into the temp control, temp control, you go to power mode, and then you hit this. Jules mode and then you go boom and then you have to just well you adjust if you want the uh celsius or whatever and then it adjusts you can adjust your temperature here so if you want to adjust your temperature up and down let's say i have it set to uh, the coil ni200 and then there's also ti100 ti10 and ni200 uh titanium or um titanium or some call it yeah nickel so let's say uh, I've adjusted to 500 degrees okay cool I don't know how to get out okay so when you go and then it goes exit exit so now I'm at 500 degrees if I'm vaping on it and this isn't satisfying to me instead of like this one where I can just adjust it right there I have to go back into the system, look for the power jewel mode, go into the jewels, oh, cool, and then hit jewels, and then go into here, and then go back in there, and then adjust it, and then exit, and then coil exit. I don't know, it's just, for me, it's way more of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> a lot of people are used to it, and they like it, but I like this interface better. Now, really quick to wrap this up, I like this one more. Just because the size, the feel, um, it just it feels a lot better in the hand. I use this one 95% of the time. This one, I, I let people borrow if they're here in my house. I don't really use it. Performs great. It's easy to use, screen's big, everything, it has everything going to it, going for it to me, except the feel, how it feels in the hand. This one's smaller. And, let me go, and this, you get it? Ever so slightly, you can see, I see it better here. Like the doors bent. That bugs the ever loving shit out of me. This one's fine. And it doesn't wobble back and forth. It just like this. In the hand you can just feel it, and that, that's another big con for me. Maybe if it didn't have that, I would like this one more. But well, I like it more than this one just I would use it more. So this one's pretty much I'm putting up for sale. This one I'm gonna keep. Yeah, 
pretty much this is pretty much my all day carry now. This and the Goliath V2. I like that one a lot too. Uh, it's just this one is. I don't know. I, I like them both. They're, I like them both equally. Um, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. It's already running long. It's already at 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I have a. It's like a Hannah Mods clone coming in. I don't know if I'll do a review on it. If you guys want to see it, I'll do it. Um, yeah, I just it looks cool. It's the brass one. Uh, it's a Hannah Mods clone, like the 40 watts. I'm basically gonna just use it with rocket with this tank because. Well, probably this one too, because this one you, I only use it at 40 watts, this one at 30 watts. Like a lion, I have to run it like at 60, 65 watts. <sighs> okay, if I left anything out, or if there's any other questions, comments, let you know, just let me know. Um, let me know in the comment section. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I did a review for this. I don't think I did. I'll probably do it like a review. I just, this thing is lovely. Love, 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 lovely. Clouds for days, bro. Single coil. It's only running. Uh... Oh shit! I left this in temperature mode. Whoops. Whoopsie. I left it on temperature mode. With <laughs> with the Ooh. didn't do anything. Actually, it was pretty nice. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Oh, well, size comparison. A lot smaller. A lot smaller. This is actually smaller than the sub box, the sub tank, sub, the K box, the new one. It's shorter. All right, well, peace out until we meet again. Sorry the video ran long. Just rambling, ramblings of the old dement person. Alright, bye-bye.